Hello, hello, my lovely Aquas. Welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope they all are doing well. Aquas, you have the Vessel and the Mother, the Kiss the King, the Hunter, the, sh the Stone, and the Shapeshifter. <clears throat> oh, this identity, this identity that you were like just holding on to with dear life. I don't understand. I, I <laughs> no judgment, no judgment. That's not my role. <laughs> I do understand. I do understand what it is to cling to an identity. But I feel like there's just this, I don't know, I feel like this like looking back and seeing if there's something that can be fixed. And I just feel like it's in conjunction with some sense of identity, you know, like you're just having a really hard time letting go of something. Um, but I feel like no sooner do you look back than you realize that it's like, no, no, that's not the direction that I want to take it because that's, I feel like saying that's the direction that was preventing you from going the direction that you actually wanted to go because you're showing up differently. You can be on either side of the story. Take what resonates, how it resonates, and leave the rest. Um, you can be dealing with somebody in this energy. Obviously, do it what you will. <laughs> but I think this identity is is breaking. And I think there's a, a moment of hesitation and then a decision that feels very rushed. Um, I mean, the kiss is the idea of a partnership or a relationship. Um so I don't know if it's because it has been in your reads for like ever, but I feel like there's been this person in your life who you were really, really close to, who's really important to you, whether that was a love relationship or a friendship or your family, you know, I just feel like it's like somebody who was really, really important to you who, because of this identity that you were clinging on to, it was like that relationship just couldn't, you know, like that's just not going to be a thing, you know? And I think that, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I feel like there's a catalyst for this, but I don't know what the catalyst is. Um, because this feels like a very rushed energy and, you know, like a, like a, decision to to show up differently in something that you're anchored in um you know if it's not like a like a relationship with another person um you know then I would say maybe it's a job that you were like I don't want to take that job because this is who I am and and that's not who I am and it's like mm, I mean according to those people but like according to you are you not like so much more than what you are identifying as you know I feel like my aqua is fucking roll the roast. <laughs> I mean, at least the ones that I know. I don't know. The. Okay, we got a stack here. The hermit, the nine of cups and the eight of cups. Well, again, just this remorse, I think that moment of hesitation where you have to like release something because I, I don't think you're fixing your identity. I feel like your identity is broken and there's really not much more you can do about it at this point. You know, I just feel like there's nothing left there to hold on to, <laughs> you know? Um, I kind of feel like, because like, where's the value in it? You know, I don't know. I just kind of get this sense of like a value shift. Um, but you know, if it's a relationship or if it's a job, either way, that can, that can play itself out. Um, and then you have the chariot and the sun with the page of wands and the king of wands. Again, this, this message seems to be, I want to say in terms of this, like showing up differently, like this decision to, to show up differently. I think having released this, identity that was like not going to get you anywhere um so that you can go towards what it is that I think that you are somehow already anchored in you know um okay <clears throat> Two 
Justice, the Ten of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. Uh, this feels like, and I don't know, you know, obviously take what resonates. Um, but I just feel like there's this sense of like this burden that you've been carrying. And I feel like this identity has become like this burden that you've been like bearing the weight of, but it's like, while you were bearing the weight of this burden, you were also working on yourself so that you wouldn't have to continue to bear this burden. Um, I don't know, because I almost feel like this sense of sacrifice. And I feel like somebody else paid the price. Like it was their sacrifice. And and I feel like there's this sense of like you were carrying the like the the burdens and the weight of everybody who wanted that person to sacrifice on their behalf. But they're not doing the work. They're not doing anything. Do you know what I mean? I just feel like there's this sense of like, well, but I was I was protecting them from having to do anything. And it's like, well, cool. You know, like, I'm sure you would understand why people wouldn't want to work with you then. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, because, like, why? Um, but I feel like there is there is a sense of justice that is coming into being. Um, that seems to come with a decision that, like, something couldn't, like, like, I don't know. I think about, like, a homeless person or, or an addict you know, and, and you can't, it doesn't matter what you say, they will have a, like a response or an excuse or, you know, like somehow manage to turn it around on you or, you know what I mean? Like, they're just like, oh, it's like aggressive, nasty energy. But that feels, I feel like there is that sense of like, like, that's not, like, that's not my burden to, to carry. Like, that's not my problem. And if, and if you want to carry that, that burden, by all means, let it be your burden. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, I just won't ever be mine. <laughs> like, I don't know. And I just feel like whoever is saying this, um, I think the other person feels really deflated because it's like, well, that was my sense of identity and that was what I took pride in and that was what I did. Da, 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 da. And I feel like, okay, cool. You do you boo. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but like, like, are you surprised when I don't know why I just want to keep saying no one wants to work with you or nobody wants to be in a relationship like that. I don't know. You know, like if it's one of those things where you're like, well, and this feels very immature and I don't know that most of my aquas will resonate with this, but since it came to my mind, I will share it. But it's just that idea of, you know, like, like, well, these are my friends and, you know, if my friends you know, they don't like you or they, you know, they feel like da, 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 da then, you know, like my friends come first and, and it's like, <laughs> won't you go pull some more of your little bitches then? You know what I mean? Cause those are the only people who are going to fuck with you. <laughs> like, again, I just get this sense of somebody looking at you and be like, mm-hmm, 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 okay, bye. <laughs> Don't let the door hit you on the way out, you know? Um, but I, like, I think that that energy is almost that, like, um, like that, that awareness that, like, that's not an identity that you can carry. And that if you want to move past that identity, you're going to have to let that identity go. Um, and you're going to have to show up differently because I just feel like the, the version of you that you were showing up as previously is like, don't let the door hit you on the way out. <laughs> um, and you can be saying this to somebody, um, you know, you can be on either side of the story, but there just feels like this like massive point of contention and like this, like somebody else paying the price of like your bad decisions on behalf of other people's bad decisions. And it's just like, yeah, <laughs> about that. Um, those are, you know, like there's like, you literally have no ground to stand on. There's no logical explanation for the type of behavior that occurred. And, um, you know, like the only thing you can, to, can acknowledge is the fact that there was just a bunch of like emotionally stunted people 
running off at the mouth with partial ideas, thinking that they were some the fuck buddy because in real life they are no fucking buddy. You know what I mean? And it's like, but people in their egos, you know what I mean? And then the thread, and it's just kind of like, like there's like, you can't be where you are. You have to like exit. You know what I mean? There's just this sense of like, this is like, you're not going to get anywhere unless you release something and go. Like, that's where your justice is going to be. Aquas, I'm rooting for you. <laughs> I love you so much. Um, if this does resonate with you, please give me a like, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all again soon. Bye.